Lucy on Gears. All right, let's get hold of uh, Claire Ely, Claire Jane, because uh, she's doing a thesis on Formula One, and we're going to find out how we can help her out and get involved and what she's actually doing it all about. I think it's quite extraordinary. What did you do your thesis Hello. on? Claire. Hi, how are you? Terrific. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Awesome. For those who don't remember Claire, Claire was on the yacht in Monaco last year, hostessing for a whole lot of people. It's only like her ninth time that she's been there. Is that right? <laughs> um, fifth time. <laughs> You're quite spoiled, Claire. I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize whatsoever. You're very lucky. Now, Claire, I came across your blog the other day. Um, first of all, you're studying sports management. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so now you're doing your master's and you have to do a thesis. Yes, I have to uh, do a thesis. You're doing a thesis. Now, you've chosen Formula One. So tell us what your thesis is on in the world of Formula One. Well, basically what it's on is I'm looking at uh, fan response to team performance. So how the fan reacts to how the team performs during the season or during the races. Excellent. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, but I think you've chosen a perfect um, season and most probably also last season for people to respond because uh, I think with everything that's going on, you're going to get quite, uh, quite a varied uh, response. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, from what I've seen in the pilot research that I've done, it's that there has been a huge sort of variation in people's responses and the way that they are feeling about it. So it should be very interesting. Okay. So, um, well, listen, I registered there, but I haven't done the questionnaire yet. Tell us a little bit about... Okay. Tell us a little bit about um, what sort of questions people can expect if they go and register with you. Uh, kind of questions is just basically finding out what your um, who your favorite driver and team is, and then from there it's sort of how you respond to their performance. So it's things like if you um, if your team loses, do you go out and proudly support them, or are you less likely to talk about them? Things like that. It's just basic ah. how your emotions um, gauge according to their performance. Now, how many people are you trying? Or how much data are you trying to get? Um, in order to have, I suppose, a good sample for your um, thesis? Uh, hoping for somewhere between, anywhere between 100 and 200 people would be huge for me. It would be a, a, quite a big uh, representation of the population here. Okay. And it would also give a, a good amount of data for the actual research. Terrific. Now, how do people come and get involved? Uh, well, there's links uh, all in my Twitter feed, um, as well as, in the bio as well that I've been tweeting about it a lot. Yeah. Um, so if you just go onto the link and then you can find the informed consent form and sign up and then once you've done that, I will be in touch with you uh, regarding when the first questionnaire will be asked. Okay, brilliant. Now the, um, you're going to, you're trying to do this, you say like over a five month period. So it's going to be a tremendous yes. amount of, uh, once once pe people have finished their questionnaire, it's going to be a tremendous amount of work from your point um, to just uh, uh, well, I get all of that data and uh, uh, analyze it. Yes, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm ho considering how much I love the sport, it should be quite interesting and should be fun, hopefully. Well, I'm glad you say considering how much you you um, you you love the sport. I mean, what what got you hooked on it? And I mean, why did you decide I'm going to do my thesis on the world of Formula One? <laughs> well, I, I've always been a Formula One fan right from when I was very tiny. So, and I was looking for an opportunity to kind of make Formula One a more important part of my life. Um, and the thesis opportunity is probably the best one that I've got in terms of not only making an impact on my life, but trying to make an impact in the world of Formula One as well. Amazing. And then when you finished with all your thesis, are you going to send it to Mr. Bernie? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Okay, Claire, just don't forget your mates when you make it into the world of Formula One so we can come along and have a joy with you. <laughs> eh? I won't, I won't, I promise. Listen, we wish you all of the best. We're going to try uh, try our best from Ball's uh, radio point of view to try and get as many people as possible to um, get onto your uh, database. And, and uh, please let us know about the results. I'm sure we'll talk to you before then. And, um, uh, of course, there afterwards as well. Yeah, sure. Great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the help that everyone is doing for this. So, it's been, I've had such good response from people so far. So, hopefully, this will just pick things up a little bit. Well, that is great, great news. Hold on a second. Ian wants to say something. Hey, Claire, what's your Twitter username? 
Claire Jane. Uh, it's at Claire Early F1. Yeah. So you didn't say that. I know, I know, but uh, we, <laughs> we just tweeted her. Okay. Okay. Claire, we are. We've got all your details. <laughs> We're going to tweet it. We're going to help, try and help you out. Then if you need any more help, just uh, pop me a tweet. Okay, I will do. Thank you so much. All right. Have a lovely day. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye. There we go. Claire bye. is doing her uh, thesis sports management on Formula One and how people react when their teams win or lose. Get involved. Uh, Maz just posted all of the details up on uh, our Twitter feed. And uh, do yourself a favor. Just go and do it because I think it's going to be some great, great research. And, well, hopefully we'll find out the results and then we'll share it with you. At the next intersection, turn on. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.